Today I'm going to show you how you can use a third generation super glue system to fix many things on your car. Now I met a guy named Don who runs Tech Bond. He's been working 16 years on great ways to use new kinds of super glue to glue things together. And here's what he taught me. If you're gluing rubber parts together, you have this activator and you spray it on one end and then let it dry. It doesn't take that long to dry, but I like being conservative, so I wait a couple of minutes. Then I use the S1 Super Glue Blue, it's the medium range one, and I put it on the opposite end of the rubber. Then you hold both ends together. If you notice, I'm using gloves. I wear them a lot when I'm working on cars, but you don't want to get super glue on your fingers and have them stick together. So wear gloves. If the gloves stick together, you can just rip them off and throw them away. You don't want to rip your skin off and throw that away. Although if you do mess up, the kit comes with a debonder, and you can put that on to get the glue to come apart. And there's the rubber pieces that I've glued together, and look. I'm pulling as hard as I can, and I can't rip it apart. The stuff holds pretty strong. It does take 24 hours or so to completely dry up, but look, I can't pull it apart after two minutes. Because the activator accelerator really makes the bond strong. Here's where the seam is, and if you look closely as I pull, you can see the rubber is actually stretching and getting thinner, but the bond is not coming apart. I guess my dentist should have glued the fake tooth in with this stuff instead of whatever he used. I'm waiting for the screw-in part to be done when the bone heals in my head, so then I'm just going to wait until he screws the new one in. Now Don has four different kinds of super glue. There's green, blue, brown, and black. They're all basically the same stuff, it's just that each one is thicker. The blue is medium, which is 100 rating, and the black is really high rating, it's thick. The black is the thickest, it's rated as 1500, so you can use it on vertical things that you're gluing. If you don't want to take something apart and it's hanging up, you can put it vertically because it won't drip. And Don told me a lot of funeral homes use it because it's good with more moisture, so they actually use it on people before they put them in a casket to put them back together again so they look better. Now I'm not gluing people back together, but it is good for all kinds of uses on cars. Now it works really well on plastic parts that are broken, they're a little more complicated, so you have to do these steps. You get the polyprop spray, and you spray both sides of the crack, saturate them, then let them dry. Then you get the activator accelerator, and spray only one side, and then let that dry. Then you get a hair dryer, and heat both sides, for 30, 40 seconds to make it more pliable. Then you get the SI blue and put it on the opposite side to the one you put the activator on. Cover it all up. Then push it together and hold it for about 30 seconds. Wipe off any excess. Then heat it up with hair dryer another 30 seconds. And then here we go. Ugh, I can't pull it apart. The baby's on there. And I'll tell you, one of my big problems with super glue is, if you keep them a while, it gets hard in the bottle and it's useless. So Don told me the secret. Store the stuff in your fridge. I store mine here next to the welding rods. It drives my wife nuts. Don guarantees it's going to last for two years if you store it in the fridge. It won't get hard when you want to use it six months later and you get mad. And Don at Tech Bond sounds like an honest guy to me. He said, if you buy it and you're not satisfied, he'll return your money. You can't beat that. He's just an American with a small company in Ohio that's trying to make a better mousetrap. So I wish him all the luck in the world. So if you want to try the new third generation of super glue, why not give Tech Bond a try? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done recycling myself.